It's, uh, I think 10 degrees out today, so not too bad. <laughs> At least it's sunny out, right? Oh, man. Hopefully we don't crash in the snow. That's what I'm hoping. Oh my god. Let's see where we go. Oh my god. Alright, that looks good. We're gonna hover. Holy shit. Oh my god. Oh, I'm scared. Holy shit. <laughs> it works. Oh my god, it works. Woo! That's really good. Let's see if we can land this thing. Okay. You kidding me? Dude, let's go. Oh, it flies, it flies, it flies. <laughs> so we're gonna put the goggles on, see what happens. See how it feels too. Holy shit. I got gloves on too, so it's a little weird. Dude, this flies so well. I haven't done anything to it. <laughs> I'm gonna do a roll. I'm gonna do a roll. Oh, the roll works! Dude, this thing flies like a. Oh my god. <laughs> this is so cool. It feels so nice. Dude, how does it push up? So go. Holy shit. Bro. Listen to that sound, man. Like, listen to it. Oh! <laughs> How big is this thing? Can kind I of go through my usual gaps? Ah! <laughs> Damn. It flies so smooth. I thought I would be like all wonky. Wow. This flies better than any of my quads. I shouldn't be having this much fun. This feels wrong. I feel like there should be an issue of some kind. And I'm just flying around. Chilling. <laughs> Bro! Oh my god, it's so bright. It's so bright. It's so bright. Okay, relax. I crashed it, Linus. Like, fuck! No! No, no, no! Oh, if none of the. Oh, let's go. None of the electronics got snow on it. Okay. <laughs> we tried it off. We tried this thing off. Nothing's broken, so I'm just gonna screw this plate onto the drone itself and we should be good to go. We'll see what happens. We just gotta dial these camera settings. Okay, so we ended up getting the GH4 in the air yesterday, right after we crashed into the snow, but all the footage was pointing downwards because I didn't check my camera angle. <laughs> Everything is like heavier, but it's honestly not that different from the carbon. We fixed that today and we've got three batteries, so we're just gonna see what type of footage we can get. We're kind of just doing freestyle, but like 
you know, within reason. I'm not going to try to push it, obviously. But, uh, yeah, just putting it through its paces, see how far we can push it without actually breaking anything. So, hopefully this goes well. Camera angle is dialed. Better. Yeah, this was from the build kit that um, Troy had at Quad Standard Labs. So, shout out to him. He basically hooked me up with all the parts and then answered all my questions. Um, so if you like the flight footage, definitely go check him out. Um, it's freezing. It's really fucking cold. It's, uh, I don't know, it's just ice everywhere. Alright, time to actually launch. Sun is up and we are rolling. Um, yesterday we were able to push this thing pretty far. So, everything seems to be good. <laughs> it's still, it's fucking heavy. <laughs> oh my god. It's just a heavy fragment, so that's what it feels like. <laughs> Let's go. It's coming my way. Call a car real quick. <laughs> <laughs> After looking at the footage from yesterday, I learned to just put the goggles back on. It's too bright. Yeah, okay, so you're good. Nice. Okay, we adjusted camera angle. Um, but the problem we're running into is now just the lens is too narrow. So, like right now we're at the 24 mil equivalent. Um, probably want 14. And right now that lens is in the mail. So we can't do some real cool testing until Friday. But I think if we play our cards right, we might be able to get something cool with this setup. Um, it's just a matter of getting the camera angle right. Let's see if I actually stops on it, don't This is a rip. I imagine the camera lens is above the drone or above my camera. That's a bad idea. Bad idea. Can I go under here? Oh, it's heavy. It's so heavy. Hmm. That's just like. What does that look? Maybe a side, sh like a, like a massive shot on the. Hmm. I'm going for the catch. Fuck it. Hey. Ripping around through the trees doesn't really look that great, it's still pointing at the ground, so I'm going to try to give it a little more room to work with, and uh, yeah, we'll see. I think I found the right angle. I'm not 100% sure. Oh, it's Yeah, let's try to get one long route with like usable footage.
face there. We're facing the right away from the sun. <laughs> okay, there we go. Learn from the mistakes we face away from the sun to land. That is good. Hey, we are out here on a third day. We've uh, taken the camera off. We've just got forest batteries ready to demo. <laughs> but uh, yeah, we figured it wouldn't be ideal to just keep flying the camera, especially if you don't have a, the right lens for it. I took a look at the footage last night and it was pretty solid. I did have it on dampeners and I want to try it out hard mounted on the camera and then we're also going to try some different tunes. Um, but other than that, all my settings, like Betaflight Master Slider is at 1.2 and then all the other stuff was the same or default I should say. Gyro filters were turned completely off and um, motor timing was like 26 degrees and other than that I didn't change anything. Um, I don't know if you know motors would get hot in any other environment because it's literally 10 degrees Fahrenheit so <laughs> everything's kind of cold it's kind of hard to judge that but like the overall performance I was pretty happy with it especially for like the first you know, a few days. Um, very happy with all the parts. Everything seems to be holding up well. I uh, got just two capacitors, one for each ESC, nothing fancy. Uh, hopefully everything looks a little better when we, once we get a wider lens. And then we'll be taking this thing out into the middle of nowhere, following some cars just to practice, see what happens. Um, but yeah, hopefully you got some value out of this, uh, some entertainment, <laughs> but, yeah, uh, thanks for watching. Hopefully it helps somebody out there. Peace.